everybody. My name's Pen Clicking Jen, and before I get into it, I want to show you my dress. It's my favorite dress ever, and if it'll just focus on it, it's not gonna focus, I'm sorry, but it's foxes, isn't it so cute? It's my favorite dress ever I got from Forever 21, and it's just, and it's comfy, and it's like, I love it. And I just discovered BookTube this day. This video is gonna get uploaded, I think, tomorrow, but I just discovered it today. I'm gonna do that new booktube, booktube newbie tag challenge thing. Side note, I'm sorry if I sound weird, uh, I'm, I have a cold right now, so, yeah. I was, literally 10 minutes ago, I was in my pajamas, my hair up, and like, I look like death, so. This is the best you're gonna get. <laughs> Alright, I just have him like, on my computer, cause I'm really, really classy, you know. Why did you start this channel? Well, my uh, current channel, Pen Clicking Jen, Pen Clicking Jen, yes. I really wanted to sort of start a discussion and a community on writing and reading and then, pff, sorry, dust in my face. I'm already sick, I don't need to get more sick and sneeze all over my camera lens. I started it for those reasons and then I'm continuing it or start revamping my videos because it's been a stupid amount of time. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Um, oblivious, oblivious, ob obvious, my obvious awkwardness. Despite the fact that I'm an English student who is actually graduating from university come in June, I found no words. I have, the thing is, for me, what I say is, I have too many words in my brain that it just gets jumbled up and I can't say proper words or come up with proper words, so. Eh. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna bring. And also just my love of books and writing, and I'm really hoping to, I'm thinking of self-publishing on Amazon, um, a book that I need to write this coming semester in three months. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm thinking of self-publishing it once I maybe get some editing done and such and so forth. We'll see how it goes, but it's a book that I feel, you know, the characters need to just tell their story and I want to rob them of that. Not because I think I'm a brilliant writer or anything. Trust me, I'm not Shakespeare. <laughs> no. -uh. That's what I'm bringing to this thing. Yeah. There you go. Ta-da. Number three. <laughs> What are you most excited for about this new channel? Once again, I feel bad because it's not a new channel, but like a revamp of it in a way. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm just excited to be in this community thing if people end up watching this video, so. If, if you do, hi. <laughs> That's what I'm excited about. I'm excited about you who watches and is like, oh my gosh, you like books. Yay, I like books and I like writing and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> and foxes. <laughs> I'm just gonna elbow the camera now. Don't mind me. Why do you love reading? <laughs> so, how much time do you have exactly? You know, t 12 million years? Is that the do? short and sweet answer living different lives I you, when you read you get to live different lives you get a glimpse into another perspective that can um, completely remold your current world view trust me I wouldn't be who I am today without the books that I've read reading's awesome and it's just this thing you can never stop doing and there's so many different ways words can be arranged and used and it's beautiful and it's just this amazing thing and you talk to yourself in your head in different voices so it's like you're crazy but at the same time it's an acceptable crazy how did i get to that you know i, I next <laughs> i'll let you think what you may of that next question okay what book or series got you into reading Ooh, the Magic Treehouse series. Hey, brief story time. I hated reading up until the time I was eight, I believe. Like, I just was like, mm, I am none of that. I was like, picture books of anything all the way at school. And the same one every week, basically. But then I read my first Magic Treehouse series uh, book, and I fell in love, and 
you know, with this idea of magic and, you know, ordinary kids getting transported to the Titanic, which is actually kind of scary, but or getting transported to the North Pole or what have you. It was just this thing that all of a sudden I was like, hey, this thing, th these words are creating a world and that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And then from there on, I've just been hooked ever since. So thank you to Magic Treehouse. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I literally just started watching these videos today, so I don't have a favorite booktuber yet, and if anything, you're all my favorite booktubers, so, um, uh, can we be friends? What's your favorite book? Do you want to, like, have coffee and chat sometime? <laughs> I don't have enough money to buy a plane ticket, but, you know, <laughs> Skype. Hi. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Posting regularly. I'm horrible with it. It's been, I don't know how long it's been. I should look it up, but it's been like, I think probably close to like eight months since I last posted. So yeah, posting regularly is one thing and also not getting into a reading slump or in a writing slump. Yeah, I, in my next semester of school, I have to write an entire novel for my capstone project, which means I'm going to be writing a lot. So I don't know how much time I'm going to have for this, but I'm going to try really, really, really hard to actually like do this. So yeah, that's going to be my biggest thing to overcome, I guess. When did you start reading? Oh, like I said, eight years old. So yeah. Magic Treehouse. Oh. oh, and surprise, surprise, I'm into Doctor Who. Where do you like to read? Uh, my bed, the couch. I don't like reading in um, really crowded public places because I get distracted really easily and I'm like, oh, why are they talking about? No, let's reread the page 10 times over. So yeah, I, I like to be alone when I read and just like, just me and my imagination. What kinds of books do you like to read? I love to read YA fantasy, fantasy in general. Um, I read a little bit of science fiction, not as much, but I'm just trying to get more into it. Uh, uh, YA, some YA modern stuff, depending. It has to be really good for me to get into it. I do enjoy thriller mystery books. Those are really fun. And also I think I'm into like the breaking into the bank thing. A heist, heist books. I, I'm, I'm liking those right now. I just read, uh, Crooked Kingdom, the sequel to Six of Crows, and I loved it. I love both books so much, so I'm just like, I think this is a new genre that I love. So I'm like, maybe gangster-esque type things I have to check out. And those are all the questions that I have here pulled up on a random website on my computer, so I am going to wrap this up and go to bed because I'm very sniffly. <laughs> keep reading, keep writing, and I love you all. Okay, bye.